Hello everyone! Welcome to the first part in my Octopath Traveler series for Smile Game Builder. From here on out, I'll be referring to the engine as SGB. In this part, we'll explore using image editing software to make terrain textures that work in SGB's built-in map editor. For this portion of the series, all you will need is an image editing software of your choice, the Smile Game Builder engine, and some tile sets you wish to use in SGB. I'll be using Final Boss Blue's Fantasy RPG tile set and Photoshop. First, let's study exactly how terrains are set up in SGB. The best way I've found to do this is to literally look at what's already included with the engine. Let's export their default terrain and open it up the grass in our image editing software and take a look at its structure. We'll go to Add Assets, and then we'll go to the Maps tab, and you'll see down here there's a Terrain tab. That's where we want to be. We'll choose their Grass Tile. All right, so this is what it looks like in SGB. Let's export it as a file. So where I'm going to export it is I have a folder already created in my Assets folder for SGB default terrain um, assets. So I'm gonna select this folder and I've already exported it here, but that's okay, we'll do that. All right, so when you've successfully exported it, it will open up this window with the file in it. So you'll see it's just a image file called 001 underscore grass.png. Let's open this up in our image editing software. I'm gonna use Photoshop. Okay, so here we are. Terrain in SGB is organized into 48 by 48 pixel grid sizes. I'm going to enable and set up the grid in Photoshop so we can see this. I want to set the pixel grid size to 48. And then we're going to go to Window, or sorry, View show grid all right so we have our grid i'm going to zoom in here and as you can see we have 48 by 48 grid sizes here not every terrain is set exactly like this but in general this is what you'll see the top layer here is the grass that you're walking on this is the grass edge so when you create a new edge in sub and i'll show you real quick and you hit up on the terrain, you'll see that that's what it looks like. Very simple and easy. Since I'm using a tile set that's 16 by 16 in grid size, I'm going to need to scale that tile set up to the same 48 pixel grid size that SGB uses. Conveniently, 16 is exactly one third in size to 48. So all I need to do is size it up by 300%. So I'm going to open up my um, tile set I'm using. I'm using the Fantasy RPG Tile Set Pack by Final Boss Blues. So let's open up the terrain.png and I'm going to open it with Photoshop. Okay, so here we are. So now I need to scale this by 300%. So I'm going to go to image, image size, and then I'm gonna use percent. I'm gonna set this to 300%. I'm gonna keep the resolution at 72, and then I'm gonna use nearest neighbor. So I'm using nearest neighbor because any other method uses a filter, which would blur our pixel edges and we don't want that. For this reason, I also don't recommend using pixel grid sizes that cannot be evenly multiplied to fit the 48 by 48 grid size. I would recommend using eight, 16, or 24 grid sizes, unless you're okay with doing a lot of cleanup work from uneven scale sizes. We are Scaled up to match our 48 by 48 grid size. I'm going to copy and paste the tile sizes I want to use 
as my grass terrain to SGB's default grass terrain. So let me just copy this. Um, I'm also going to make sure that snap to grid is on. There we go. That makes it easier to select things by the grid. All right, control C to copy and control V to paste. All right, so there's the top grass layer. Now I'm going to select the wall for the uh, grass. So what I did with this one is I just choose, uh, got as close to the edge as I could and then I grab a 48 by 48 chunk here and I paste it right in here. All right, see how that seamlessly fits in there. And then I'm gonna grab the next chunk of 48 by 48. There we go. All right. So now that we have a terrain piece, we need to export this as its own file. So what I'm gonna do is file export as PNG. However you want to export this in the program you're using. I'm gonna put this in a new folder under assets. So we're gonna do this. I wanna call this custom terrains. Okay, and then I'm going to create a new folder for grass terrain. So I'm gonna call this grass terrain. Now, it's important to note whatever uh, folder name you give this, that's where it's gonna show up in SGB under. Like, so if you had a whole bunch of terrains in this folder, they will show up in SGB under that tab. Um, and then I'm gonna call it zero one grass because I don't plan on making hundreds of these. And then save it. Okay. Now we need to import this into Smile Game Builder. So let's go back to Smile Game Builder. We're gonna hit add assets. We're gonna go back to the maps tab and make sure we're on terrain. Then we're going to hit add. I'm going to go to the um, folder that I was using, which is on my H drive under assets. And then we're gonna go to the folder that we created and import this grass into Smile Game Builder. All right, if we did everything properly, we should have a new folder with our grass terrain in there. And there it is. I want to make sure it's traversable and has rounded edges because it's uh, a ground texture. So let's exit this out. I'm going to fill this whole space with my new terrain. So I'm going to go to zero one terrain, grass terrain, and fill it in. And voila, we have terrain. And you can just do this how you want. And you can use your train how you wish here. Now, this is just the step to set up one. What I'd like you to do, you know, with your time here between parts is go ahead and set up multiple terrains. Um, I have a project that I um, made with this already. So let me show you what I've done. Let me open up my, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to open up my full uh, my game that I've made with this tile set before so I made all of the tile pieces you see here uh, using that method so I have some dirt paths I have stone paths I have um, under natural I made some slopes I have the flower pieces so you can go through and make your tiles however you wish um, and however many you wish um, with the tile set that you're using the more you have the better because you have more variety so like you can make entire towns with dirt paths and all kinds of stuff yes it's it's a little bit of work to get all that going into smile game builder but you will be rewarded with a very nice looking map once you are done making all the pieces that you need um, to make a map this wraps up our first part to the Octopath Traveler series for Smile Game Builder. In the next part, I'll be going over how to use 2D character pixel art in Smile Game Builder. I hope you'll join me and I hope you had fun. 
and we'll see you next time. Happy game building.